Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you how to fight race conditions in Laravel with the help of so-called atomic locks in cache in Laravel. This is quite a rare scenario, so I wanted to not only show you the code, the syntax, but actually when it happens and when you need such locks. So let's take a look at an example. It's a pretty artificial example, but I wanted to show you the core principles. So for now, cache lock is commented out. And what happens if you don't use atomic locks on more heavy operation? For example, for booking controller, there are a lot of things to happen. You need to validate the data, whether the booking is available on that date. And then, for example, you need to create the booking, you need to create the invoice, you need to update more things in the database. And what happens if another user tries to book for the same date and while this transaction is not finished yet, the second user is firing the validation, which says that it's also available. It's still available. The database hasn't finished, hasn't committed the transaction. So it will be available for second user as well. And then what happens? Both bookings would be successful. Let's try it out. So in my case, I've simplified this example. So that generate invoice job, all it does is just sleeps for five seconds. But that would be enough for us to demonstrate that while the first user is sleeping, the second one will fire the validation and would get through as well. So that five seconds replace those five seconds with generating PDF invoice, which takes a few seconds, sending emails, some more database operations, checks or something like that. So if we fire that request with specific date and then we fire the same request, I will do that in a separate browser in Firefox. And I will try to do it almost simultaneously and let's see what happens. I hit enter here and I hit enter in Firefox. And what would be the result? In Chrome, it's okay, which means successful. Firefox, also okay. Although it should have reserved the booking for the first user. And the validation rule is correct, unique bookings. And in the database, in my case, I intentionally didn't set the unique rule in the database. We have two bookings, two successful bookings. So that's the case when you would need to lock to reserve the operation for the first user for some time and fire the second user only when the first is finished and how it's done with atomic locks. So I will remove the cache lock from the comments and the syntax is this. You name the lock as bookings, for example, you block for 10 seconds. So for 10 seconds, the other user will actually wait until the first user has finished the same operation. Let's try it out now, just with a different parameter. So 2nd of February and paste it here, but I haven't clicked enter yet. So enter Chrome, enter Firefox. Let's wait for five seconds while sleeping. The result is okay in Chrome, but validation error in Firefox. The start date has already been taken. So there was a validation exception here, which in turn fired try catch exception and return the message. So this is exactly what I wanted to show you here. If your request has multiple operations and depends on the previous results of that operation, you may want to use atomic locks to avoid so-called race conditions. You can read more about atomic locks in the official Laravel docs. I will link them in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.